Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm displaying for you everything that comes in the Jen Hadfield Patio Party Bundle of the Week at Polka Dot Mailbox. In this bundle, you will receive these sets of stickers. We have the wooden stickers, as well as the dimensional stickers, and the 40 piece ephemera pack, and the word thickers from Patio Party. The papers that are included in this kit, you will receive five 12 by 12 pattern papers. They are double sided. There is Breezy, Welcome Mat, and Backyard Bloom. In addition to that, you will also receive two cut apart pages. This Just For You tags cut apart sheet and the traditional cut apart sheet with the sayings called patio life. The non Jen Hadfield items in this bundle are flowers, twine from We Are Memory Keepers, ribbon from American Crafts, and a seven paper four by four gold album with inserts, as well as the Heidi Swap enamel dots. So the first thing that I did in creating this 4x4 mini album was to go and cut apart all of the tags and then cut apart my choice of the other cut apart sheet. You don't have to cut everything if you don't want to because you might want to use some of the background b-side pages but if you cut apart your three 12 by 12 pages that are pattern papers and then you cut that first into a 4 by 12 strip and then cut that down three times to create three 4 by 4 squares. You can do that with each of these three patterned papers. The Backyard Blooms, the Welcome Mat, and the Breezy. So you just cut your 4x12 strip off of each of them. You cut them down into 4x4s, th 3 4x4s, and then you can cut further into 2x2s on one of the 4x4s. That way you have all the little background pieces to quickly slip into the pages and everything is pre-cut and then it makes it easier for when you're putting your photos in and you can play with some things put them into place and then once you bring your photos in you can move things around a little bit more but if you just get some basic background pages completed then it helps you to put this album together so I cut apart the tags and when I did that, I went with my punch and I punched out that center circle and I also went through and punched, or I sorry, I trimmed off all of those corner edges. So the nice thing about those corner edges is that it left a really cute little design element that you could add to any of the 2x2 two two squares or 4x4 four four pages if you wanted to have little corner embellishments on any of your pages. So I go ahead and cut all of those off and then I go back and I cut or I um, glue those down to just some of my little 2x2s two but you could put them anywhere. So here I've got a quick and handy set of cut aparts all ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and just use my little, I don't even use my glue gun for this, I just use my um, little handheld glue dots there and then I go corner to corner. You could do all four corners, you could just do one, you could do two, diagonal, like there's so many options but since they were already pre-cut and they were the perfect little size I thought they were a great thing to add. The flowers that come in this collection are from Basil and they have um, just a plain ivory finish so it's nice to add some texture and dimension so I used one of the ephemera pieces, popped it up, glued it in and then put it into place and then I've got one corner. I go ahead and add a enamel dot to the center of that and 
I'm just going to put together a number of different pieces from the ephemera and create little designs for the pockets. I end up rearranging things a little bit, but once you have the elements designed, you can move things around from place to place. With this one, I used my ribbon to hide the back that was white. So I really liked how that stuck up. I wanted to have some things coming up out of the top of the album, but then it looked sort of awkward on the other side. So I just went in and I added my ribbon. And to finish that off nicely, I went in with an enamel dot and I glued it in place just to make sure that it stayed really nice. And later I go back and I add a twine bow to it as well that adds a really nice piece. So you can pick the sentiments that match your album. I went and lined up the holes on one of the cut aparts and it becomes a page in itself. And then you can add something to the back or you can um, just leave it as it is. It looks cute. I end up adding a picture to the back of that. You can use the cut aparts to add things on a diagonal. Here's where I'm going in with that twine. I really like the way that that turned out. It adds a really cute little finishing touch. And I'm adding twine to this four by four card as well. So it was really a cute little saying that this had to uh, make yourself feel at home. And I just really love those little shoes and I wanted that to be part of the album. So the one thing that I really like doing with these tags is slipping them into the four by four inserts because they can easily become a little journaling card. And I'm gonna go through after I've picked out all of my pictures and I'm gonna write on the specifics about the date and who was there and what we were doing. The only thing that I didn't include in this kit were uh, sequins and you could add any number of different little things into that pocket. I have a fuse tool. I didn't actually fuse the top of these because you can get away with either not fusing them at all. You could seal them off with a washi tape. You can uh, sew the edges. So there are so many ways to add sequins or little wooden ephemera or any little bits and baubles that you want to add little finishing things to your pockets, could be sparkles, whatever it is that you have in your stash. So I'm just showing you an example of how I brought something else in, just a simple little um, set of sequins that were sitting on my desk. The pinks just happen to match these colors perfectly. And I add a little bit of this twine to this banner ephemera. I really liked the banner ephemera and I wanted to make it look like it was hanging off the page and this turned out really cute to just tie up some bows, glue them to the end. I used my glue gun for most things to keep them in place and it doesn't have any effect on like melting the the plastic. It was totally fine. So one problem when you're working with a see-through pocket you have to sort of design for each side so here I've designed with the butterfly on the back. I've got that little sentiment, friends forever, on the other side, and you can see a little bit of the white. So to hide that, I put that butterfly in place. Again, you can choose the cut aparts that match your theme or whatever it is that your pictures are going to denote that you want to have that add a little confetti to each day is a perfect sort of generic suited for all as well as happy day could be suited for all types of occasions. So I just put a sticker, ephemera, and um, journaling tag in that one page there and that page is done. So another handy little trick is to use some of this twine to create a little bow and then use one of your enamel stars or dots from the Heidi Swap pack to create a little center for the flowers and then you can 
Because they're identical flowers, you can use one on each side. And again, if you wanted to slip something into that pocket, you could, if you had like a picture of some flowers that you wanted to just have a little piece of, you could put a little two by two picture of that in there. Or if you wanted to put some sequins in, any number of things. I don't end up keeping this background. I was just putting some things together that look good. And then I went backwards with this album I first did up some pages and then I added my photos, which can be a difficult thing to do, but there were so many like generic summer themes and actually well suited. I just literally grabbed a pack of photos that I had printed off from 2018 and managed to find the exact themed pages that highlighted just some moments of the summer that were good to capture in a little album. So I like that idea where you angle one of those 3x4 cut aparts on a page and then you um, just cut off the overhang and it is a cute little background and it adds a nice little effect of interest. Here I used the branding strips that were cut off the bottom of those patterned papers and I glued them down onto a 4x4 page to create a background. Here again I'm going to go in and create a little tag journaling spot. These are perfect journaling cards for this album because they have uh, a nice grid line on the back so it's perfect to write on and then your journaling is hidden but it's easy to come out like it just pulls right out you've got the twine or the ribbon to create a little tag. I don't end up using this page in my album because I ended up needing more spots for a 4x4 photo but the really nice thing about this album you'll see me do in a little while is you can easily add in multiple pages. So if you have more photos, then you have um, pockets to put your pictures in. You can create a quick little um, page of its own and, uh, and it, it works out really nicely. I'll show you how I do that here. I just line up on one of the um, inserts that come in this collection and here I wanted to have a edge along the bottom that was a little different so I cut it a little smaller than I needed so that I could come in and add a little trim that would be the perfect size and I go ahead and I use one of my border punches from Stamping Up to create a little scalloped edge and then I just glue that in place so that it lines up perfectly with the size of the pre-done pages that are in the album. And when you do something like this, then the pattern that's on each side becomes a nice accent for the opposite side. So on the back of this is the blue, and now that becomes the edge for my paper. I just trim off the bottoms there, and then it's exactly the size. I line up the holes and I punch them, and then you've got an instant page to add another 4x4 picture. So here I've gone ahead and I've added a few photos in from our summer. And again, like these were some perfect highlights. Like it really captured a lot of different moments. My best friend from since we were four years old came and she's got a little girl. We celebrated her birthday. That's the family there. And uh, we went to the splash pad at our local marina. And I caught a picture of my daughter running through the fountains. We did a, a canoe trip. It was a regatta out at camp. I sat on my neighbor's patio and there's the perfect sticker in these um, wooden stickers that says relaxing on the patio. And we do that often in the summer. My neighbor has this gorgeous beautifully designed front yard and everyone comes and congregates there from the neighborhood and we chat and it's like a really neat meeting place so that's the relax on the patio sticker that is like designed perfectly for that photo um, so then I just added some other little pictures from our canoeing it says I live for the weekend and that was just a weekend away out at the cottage and it um, 
works out really cute in the front of the album there. I also have some pictures of a adventure. So here I've taken a four by six picture that I have pre printed out and I'm just taking a highlight from that picture. So I'm going to take a photo out of that and cut a two by two of our dog. We took to the river that's by our house. We have this great place, super close walking distance to just basically feel like you are in the middle of mother nature. So when we hopped, I, my daughter hopped on her bike and we walked over with a dog and our neighbor and their dog and we just snapped some photos. So I just cut up pieces from some pictures that I had printed off from that little adventure. And it was a good memory of that day. We really had a fantastic time and it's so nice to have that so close by us. Um, so that was like the birthday party and then the last thing I'm going to come in with is a beach volleyball photo that's another thing that really highlights something that's a feature for my summer in particular every uh, once a week every Tuesday night I play beach volleyball and it's really a lot of fun this year we had the most amazing summer there are four nights of the week and we picked our night to play and it just so happened that we picked the best night we had every single Tuesday was sunny and warm all the way up until the last Tuesday we were commenting on I can't believe how lucky we were that we got like gorgeous weather every single week for volleyball and then doesn't it rain on like the last day that uh, we were supposed to be playing but uh, we can't complain. It was, uh, it was a fun season. It's uh, great to be outside and active. So there's the cute birthday cakes that uh, come in this collection or wedding cakes or whatever sort of little desserts you want to do. Because this was a birthday, I put that little cake in the corner. I wrapped that twine around the card and the scallop axe is a really good holding place to keep that in place there and then here I'm going to decorate the cover so I just grab one of the tags and I use the back of the tag because I like that grid pattern for a um, easy to read anytime I'm going to put letters on a page I always like to have a simple background that doesn't have a lot of um, distractions from it especially some fonts it can be difficult to see what the word is saying so I wanted to make sure that a great part of the word hashtag sun was behind a paper that wasn't too busy but then you still get that peak of color from the beautiful backyard blooms paper with all those pretty flowers on there so I use one of the dimensional stickers and I put it on top of one of the flowers I take that little basket of fruit it's just beautiful and colorful and it um, acts as a perfect little in the end trifecta because I have some other pieces of fruit in the ephemera as well and then I'm able to create a visual triangle with those so I come in with a flamingo like we don't have flamingos here this has nothing to do <laughs> with like what's sort of in the album but it's like it's colorful and it's fun and if you are like me and you're living in a part of the world that has like a polar vortex basically creating a unbelievably cold snowy winter I don't mind it I enjoy the change of seasons but uh, it definitely was nice to bring a little sunshine back into my day and think about something that was happy and fun and weather that was warm <laughs> and uh, all the adventures that we had this past summer so I was playing with a little bow just again bring in some texture I didn't know where I wanted to put it exactly I tucked that little piece from the thickers in there and then I found the perfect spot for that twine tucking it under the flowers it already has so many dimension and different like there's an acetate piece there's a cardboard chipboard type of piece in there so that flower has just one more element of texture which I really like I glued this on with my hot glue gun to make sure that it stays and then I'm going to put on the side of the album there's a space to write the details of what it was 
that um, this album is all about and it is a uh, little summer 2018 is what I'm going to put on the side of the album so I will go back and add a few more little details here and there and maybe the odd uh, new little picture but this is like a quick little overview of basically what you can throw together in a uh, relatively quick amount of time so thank you so much for watching I appreciate all of the new subscribers that have been finding me lately and if you like my channel please subscribe if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and uh, if you're interested in this bundle it's available at polkadotmailbox.com thanks so much for watching and have a nice day see you again next time bye